All right, hold on. Let's bring you guys in for this one. Get my coffee out of the shot. It's necessary, but not up there. Now we're just waiting on him. You know, it's really on me for choosing to film right next to a rattlesnake. They're not known for being quiet. Hey, what's happening, Herpers? So as you can tell from the title and thumbnail of this video, my channel is dead. And you might be wondering why I seem so happy about that and what I'm making a video about now if the channel's dead. And I will get into that. I'll be sharing what I mean when I say that my channel's dead. I'll be diving into the analytics that show in excruciating detail exactly what a dead channel looks like and why I feel that is the best way to describe what has happened to my channel. But first, I do want to mention this wasn't the video I planned on posting today. Originally, I was working on a different video that I am still excited about and still working on that will be getting posted next Saturday. But last night, I got home and wasn't feeling very well. I had a lot of work to do to finish the vid. <clears throat> you can kind of hear it right in my throat right now. Anyway, I was fighting a uh, scratch in my throat. I was having some sinus issues and just the video wasn't going to get done in time for today. Or if it did, it wasn't going to get done in a way that I could be proud of. And I don't want to just rush out videos and things that I can't be proud of. So last night, while I started feeling worse and worse and was trying to figure out what I was going to do to get a video out today, I realized, you know, it doesn't matter. Your channel's dead. There's only going to be maybe 400 people that see it, and I don't want that to say anything to diminish the 400 people that are here on the first day and check it out. It means the world to me, especially those of you who know who you are, who are in the comments every time. I've talked to a lot of you. Those of you who support me over on Patreon, I feel immense pressure around making sure that I put out content that you will enjoy and that I can be proud of and that I feel like adds something to the discussion when we're talking about current events or things going on or at least is fun and entertaining and shares the animals with you in the best way possible in the most positive light possible. And I love doing all that and I plan on continuing all of that but there is an elephant in the room that I need to talk about. <laughs> And oh yeah, I'm sorry about my voice in this one. I'm, I might clear my throat a lot. I'll try to cut it all out so you don't have to listen to it, but I'm fighting hopefully just allergies, maybe a little bit of a cold. Either way, I'm staying home, so don't worry about it. But anyway, this wasn't the video I was planning on coming out with today. There is going to be a video I'm very excited for coming out next week about the bizarre construction project going on in Arizona that is going to impact many, many endangered species, and it's one of those videos that I feel is important, and again, I'm happy I don't need to rush it because, again, this channel is dead, and that is what this video is about, so let's get into the analytics, and I'll show you exactly what I mean when I tell you this channel is... KO'd. <laughs> Alright, so here's the graph of my views on this channel. You can see uh, where the event was where I was forced to remove all of my videos and you can see from that point on my views slowly trickled down. It does not matter what I did and as anybody in an online creative space on social media knows if your views start going down the cop out is to blame the algorithm. You say oh the algorithm isn't giving me these views and it is a cop out for a lot of people. Um, what you're really seeing is a representation of the audience. The audience isn't interested in what you're doing. So that's something that I really had to wrestle with and try working on. My content did change quite a bit from what it used to be and now is something pretty different. So I, I tried a few different formats. I've done a few herping videos. I've enjoyed doing pretty much all of them. There are a few things that I didn't enjoy as much, but I've tried a few different types of content out. Uh, my, my core base, those awesome <laughs> viewers that tune in every single week, you guys are great and are supportive in everything I do and are really the, the people that keep me going through this. But as far as finding an audience on YouTube went, really there wasn't any more or less traction. Very, very, very small differences in traction, nothing to write home about. Uh, my income from YouTube had completely has completely gone away for a little bit. There was a shorts bonus, <clears throat> and there's some bonus income you could get from posting shorts to YouTube. And even though I never was formally uh, told I was removed from that program, I have not received shorts bonuses in months, and I've been averaging about $30 of income from YouTube. So again, more evidence of a dead channel, but I've got a problem. The core audience. I've got you guys that come back every single week. And you guys make me think that maybe what I'm doing here is worth it and it's worth grinding away and still working on this even when uh, it feels like running into a brick wall when you look at the graphs and the actual progress that I've been able to make here on YouTube. So that gives me a dilemma because I don't want to take the cop out and say it's just the algorithm fighting me. It's just it's just this issue. I want to take responsibility and say I'm not reaching audiences, I'm not making engaging enough videos, I'm not keeping people here, I'm not keeping watch time, I'm not 
playing the game YouTube wants you to play. But besides the awesome viewers who tune in every week, leave comments, like my video, share my video, support me on Patreon, besides those amazing people that really have given me the the energy and the inspiration to keep working on this channel, I have something else that has given me hope. This isn't the only place I post videos. I also post to TikTok. I also post to Instagram and Instagram Reels. And the thing is, a lot of it is the same content that I post here on YouTube. I modify things slightly from platform to platform and make it fit better to fit the trends that are going on on those platforms. But it's largely the same stuff. And I have had videos get millions of views on Instagram, millions of views on TikTok since having this big change. I've had those same videos get a couple hundred here on YouTube. So that means I do have a, a core audience here on YouTube that find my videos worth watching. I have found ways to get into the algorithms on TikTok or get into finding an audience on TikTok. I found an audience on Instagram, which Instagram totally out of left field. I never put much energy into it, to be honest. I don't really enjoy Instagram. I don't like Facebook and they own Instagram, but all of a sudden I found an audience accidentally on Instagram. I have found an audience again on TikTok with the new content. And I've got the core people that keep me interested in trying to slug away at YouTube. So here's the thing, $30 a month from YouTube is not enough to survive on. I've been trying to do YouTube full time for months now and it ain't working and there really aren't any signs that that is going to change. So I've chosen to accept that my channel is dead. Now you might be able to tell I am oddly at peace with that and I'm kind of happy about it. So I'll get into what I mean by that now. It is clear, I think, for the reasons I've laid out, for the fact that I have found audiences on other platforms, I have had an audience here on YouTube, and then one moment really changed that. So I think one thing is clear after going over all this. I've got an audience. I've got people that my videos mean something to. I've got people who want to see these videos. I've, since having this change in the type of content that I make, I've found new audiences on TikTok. I found new audiences on Instagram, but it has just dried up here on YouTube. I hit a brick wall on every single video I post. I'll do well for the first hour and then just never get seen by hardly anybody ever again. So I'm taking all that information and there's that misquote about doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. This is the definition of insanity. It's not, um, but that is what running this channel has felt like for a few months now. I, I grind away, I work really, really hard on a video and it flops every single time. And having every single video flop after working on it for hours and hours and hours every single week, writing the videos, editing the videos, researching the videos, just for them to go nowhere, and knowing that that is supposed to be your primary income and if it goes nowhere, you're gonna be moving out into a box next month, that is a lot of pressure. <laughs> So what does all this information tell me? It tells me for whatever reason, whether it's the delete in the videos, YouTube does not want this channel to succeed. It is just not going to happen. This channel is dead, but I've got news for them. This channel is now a zombie channel. So like a zombie that has been brought back from the grave by some supernatural force or curse, this channel is now being powered by something even scarier than a curse, a day job. But no, I'm serious, I'm back to working. YouTube is not my full-time grind anymore and I couldn't be happier about it because, again, it's a lot of pressure to put hours and hours and hours of labor into this every single week and see nothing in return and actually see diminishing returns as you, you feel like you're putting more into it and investing in better equipment and trying to up the quality and just not seeing anything back from it. And it's, it's just a recipe for burnout. I, I'm not at that point but I have had a few videos where I really just wanted another day, another two days to work on it, really polish it, work on some of the details, work on the editing, and fine tune a few things, but I've been operating under this pressure of, I need to get a video out every single week. The algorithm hates me, and the algorithm wants a video every week, so I'm gonna to try to hit those milestones, and it just, it's a losing game, and I'm happy not to be playing it anymore because I don't rely on it, and so that is what I mean by this channel is dead. This channel is dead in the water with YouTube. I am still as passionate as ever about what I do on this channel, and what I want to try to share through these videos. And I know that there are those of you who enjoy these videos and like watching them every week. And I just truly thank you guys for that. It, it, <laughs> as silly as it probably is, it, 
it validates this. It makes me feel like what I'm doing here might be worth something. But anyway, what does that mean going forward for the channel? Yes, I'm still gonna be trying to get videos out every single week. I do have patrons to please and I really don't want them to send me back to the coal mines. But I'm really done playing the YouTube game, so to speak. Uh, it's just, it hasn't paid off. I've been at it for the better part of a year now and it's going nowhere. I'm still gonna be trying to post videos every week. I might miss weeks here and there. I am going to still try to keep up that cadence just because I, I feel I, I owe that to my supporters over on Patreon. But to be real, the reason that I was posting a video every single week is that's what people in the know say you need to do. You need to post at least one video a week if you wanna get picked up in the YouTube algorithm. And honestly, because of the popularity of streaming channels and other forms of content where you can pop out tons of videos, sometimes multiple videos a day, really once a week isn't even good enough. So if there's a video that I'm stressing to finish or I had to pick up an extra shift that week and now I'm behind on the video, I might not get a video out every single Saturday. I might get a video out a few days late. I might push it off until the next week. If that is a deal breaker for you and you support me on Patreon, I completely understand. I will refund anybody, no questions asked. That being said, I, I hope you'll stick around because I'm gonna be taking that extra time and kind of that pressure release valve that I'm, I'm turning now to take more time with the videos, to work on doing better research on the videos, as well as just making them look more polished, more professional, and making better content for you to watch. Now there is one final thought. I just turned the camera off and I had to kind of think about what I was gonna say here because this is kind of the, 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 the plan Z, the last resort I, I haven't wanted to address but has been knocking around the back of my head for, for at least four months now and that is abandoning this channel now I, I don't mean stopping making videos i still very much plan on making videos but it seems that there's something flagged in this channel on the back end something wrong with it intrinsically where this channel will not be able to succeed it's it's understandable that if YouTube sees a channel removed all of its content that, well, why, why would YouTube try to promote a channel that might take down all their, their content the next day? That's not a winning business model for YouTube. They have advertisers to please. They need to know where their views are coming from. And that sort of behavior for a channel is very understandably a red flag for YouTube. The problem is, I don't know how long that flag, that stain is going to stay on this channel. I don't know if it's a permanent thing if maybe that's a warning to YouTube of there's, it's supposed to be illegal to sell channels or not illegal, but against terms of service to sell channels. And maybe that's a red flag that a channel has been sold to somebody new and isn't the same person. And now my channel's just kind of blacklisted on the back end. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but I have had the thought of starting a new channel, uploading similar content, some of the same content. I can't upload the same content from this channel while this one exists because of copyright issues. But I've, I've wanted to do an experiment of just doing a herp and hippie video, but on a different channel to see what happens. This channel in theory should do much better. It's got 230 some odd thousand subscribers. It's going down by the day, which is why I don't know the exact number anymore. We we're at 30, we we're at 240,000. We just rolled down to 239,000. But this channel in theory should do much better because with that many subscribers, there should be a larger number of initial people that get to see the thumbnail and have a choice of clicking on it. So I think it'd be really interesting if I started a new channel and started posting similar videos or some of the same thumbnails and seeing what type of legs it might have in the YouTube algorithm with an un untainted YouTube channel, so to speak. So let me know in the comments if we have to move this whole party to a different channel. Well, what would you want to call the channel and would you come along for the ride? Anyway, I'm sorry for the very rambly video. I didn't really have a script for this one. I didn't know I was going to make this video when I woke up this morning. I just knew I failed at making the video I wanted to make this week. These are just a lot of thoughts that I've had kicking around my head and heart for the last few months. And I think something's gotta change. We're coming up on the new year. So I am gonna finish out this year with a new video every week as you've come to expect. <clears throat> but going forward into the new year, I am going to still try to put out weekly content. But if I'm working on a project that I really wanna get right or really want to spend more time researching and getting a fuller picture of, 
I'm gonna take that extra time and try to put out better content because I, I, I feel like I've been playing this YouTube game wrong for a while now and I've got to change my strategy here. And that just right there even feels nice to say. This has always been a hobby for me. This has always been a passion project. This is something I really care about and having to turn it into something that I was depending on for a living was very stressful and I think resulting in worse video. So I'm excited about the new year. I am excited to say that this channel is dead and it is officially a zombie channel and we aren't going anywhere. And who knows, it could be fun. I started this channel in 2019 and it took a few years to build it up to this point. So let's see how fast we can burn it down. Again, I fully intend to keep making content for this channel. I intend to make better content for this channel going forward. I'm just done playing the YouTube game. But if you are a patron and any part of what I've said in this video today makes you less excited to be a patron of this channel, and if at any time you feel like this channel isn't worth still supporting, I fully understand and will be happy to issue you a refund. Um, don't, don't feel any pressure to keep supporting this channel anymore because this channel isn't being just supported by you anymore. I've got a job, I'm supporting this channel, it's back to being my passion project. So if you gotta go, you gotta to go and no hard feelings. But for those of you who stay, I'm still going to be using your funds to keep improving these videos. Recently I used my Patreon funds to get a better shotgun mic for my camera, so hopefully the sound quality's improved. I got a better tripod, got a better teleprompter, which should be able to speed up doing higher quality videos so I don't need to be as rambly as I am in this video and every video and get more to the point. So patrons of this channel are still going to be having an impact on improving the videos and keeping these videos coming. So if helping keep a zombie channel going is something you care about, your support on Patreon is still greatly appreciated. But again, I understand if anybody needs to leave, it's totally cool. So I think that is everything that I wanted to say in this video. If you made it this far, then thank you for really being one of the core people that has kept this channel going as long as it has and keeps me motivated to keep working on these videos. I, I really couldn't do it without you. So again, I hope nobody's bummed out by this news. I'm not bummed by it. I, I feel better about the channel than I've felt for a while and I'm really excited to see where this next chapter of the channel goes. So like the video if you liked the video. Subscribe if you want to see what adventures this zombie gets up to in the new year. And in the meantime, as long as this channel is in a downward spiral, I'm just going to aim Aim for the center of the spiral because I'm convinced there's no way out, so only through. So, see where this new year takes us. And on that note, I would like to thank all of my patrons who have made these videos possible over the last few months. I truly could not have done this without you, and I'm very, very grateful. And I'm happy to be able to say for the first time in a while that now, even if I lost every single one of you tomorrow, this channel could continue going because I'm, I'm not dependent on it as my sole income anymore. But nonetheless, I will keep putting your support back into this channel and into improving these videos and making the content that you want to see. Starting with my head herpers, I would like to thank Amanda Lynn, Lindsay Justice, Lavenders, Deborah Torgerson, Bobby Cromer, JCH, Tiffany H, Allie Ward, and Sierra Sicard. Thank you to my head herpers and all the other names belonging to the beautiful and handsome people that have kept this channel going. Thank you for all your support over the last few months, and I don't mean just the monetary support, I, I mean for making me feel like what I'm doing here has a purpose and is worth continuing to do. It means the world to me. But anyway, I'm gonna cut off the rambling here and get to work on editing this video into something that is hopefully coherent. Uh, let me know what you thought. If you watched it this far, then I'm guessing that you are one of my core audience members who is going to be following this channel into the new year to see what adventures this zombie channel gets up to. So I thank you for that. And I would love to hear your feedback and thoughts in the comments. And I'll definitely be checking the comments on this video to see what the future of this channel holds. But anyway, I'm gonna get to work on editing this video and figuring out what it is that zombie channels do. I really hope I don't have to eat other channels. Unless it's one of those fake sea turtle rescue channels. I'd be alright with eating one of them. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out last week's video here. If you watch it and you still don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. I don't know what I'm talking about most of the time. Anyway, this channel's about to get weird. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you come along for the ride. And most of all, I hope that you just keep herping.